Hello, this is Scott Milliken, the um, original developer for OpenDCIM. Uh, I've got help these days from other people, so I um, don't want to say that I'm the developer, um, but uh, I am here to talk to you today about how to share your templates with the online repository. So one of the new features in version 4.0 and higher is that we now have a global repository that anyone can access so that they can pull down any templates that other people have shared with them. So in case you haven't um, bothered to check it out, um, repository.opendcim.org. Uh, if you go there, it tells you how many total manufacturers we have installed, or um, not installed, but uploaded and approved, uh, and then how many total templates. So as you can see, we've got a lot of people who have submitted manufacturer names, but very few people have submitted any device templates, and that's because they've been waiting on me to tell them how to do it. So here we are today. Um, the way that you do this, uh, there's a multi-step process, and actually, let's go on over to wiki.opendcim.org. Uh, and if you come down here to the integration section, there is a wiki page for synchronizing templates with the repository. Now, this will give you a nice little uh, flow chart of, uh, of what all happens here, and it talks about the requirements. So um, we'll go over those real quick. The server that is running OpenDCIM or OpenDCIM must have an active internet connection. It has to be able to make an outbound SSL HTTPS connection to repository.opendcm.org. So if your cybersecurity folks are not comfortable with you having a, a connection open to the world, you can lock it down so that it can only get to that particular um, IP address. That's the one that you're going to need to go to. Um, it would be best to actually use a DNS name if your firewall will allow you to do that instead of using a hard-coded IP address because this is on a hosted service and IP addresses do sometimes change. Um, we don't have a way for you to do a batch proxy version at this time. Um, that is one of the things that we're looking at trying to be able to do in future versions so that those who are behind firewalls who their, their security folks say absolutely no way are you going to be allowed to connect to the internet even if it is just one address um, we're, we're coming up with a way to fix that as well so the next step is that if you want to share your templates you must obtain an API key from a repository administrator basically me right now so you just send an email to me scott at opendcm.org and um, that will uh, get to me and I can issue a an API key to you. A couple other thick, uh, a couple other things to remember: um, templates. Right now, everything is stored in the master database in English units of measurement. Um, one of the things that we've already kind of got partially done uh, and will be in the next release is an automatic conversion mechanism so that if your local database is metric it will convert it to English when you talk to the repository um, and vice versa so that when you pull it back um, it'll uh, convert it from English back over to metric. Um, all pictures must be free of any restriction from sharing um, so if you get it from you know the manufacturers website uh, you know where I get a lot of the pictures is um, you know, you can go to Cisco and you can download the Visios for their website. And as long as you aren't using it for a commercial uh, use, um, we're an open source software package. So hopefully um, they're viewing us that way <laughs> um, uh, as a non-commercial. Uh, so that's how we're sharing those things. But uh, if I get any takedown notices, that's pretty much why I may have to take down pictures if someone doesn't like the fact that we're sharing their pictures. Um, and also your templates need to be for a base model with no expansion cards installed um, or the example that I'm going to do today is going to be for um, a switch that doesn't have the SFPs installed so you wouldn't necessarily know the port names uh, as to whether it's 10 gig or or what so um, we're just using a generic SFP um, designator for uh, the port that it's going into so anyway uh, you can read this at your leisure uh, I just wanted to bring that up to show you um, now if you take a look currently there are no templates for the Cisco product line just to show you that this does work if you click Dell then it shows you know the, the few Dells that we've got there so you go back to Cisco there's nothing so we're going to add a template for Cisco 
So what's the first thing we have to do? Well, we've got an internet connection, so we're good there. Um, and this is the opendcm.org demo website. Um, the first thing you have to do is go into your configuration section. And under workflow, you have to actually add your user ID and key. So that's me, and there's my key, which I'll be changing as soon as I finish making this video so that people can't just use my key. And we'll come over here to template management. We're going to edit a device template. And you will see that I have a very small number on the demo site. But I happen to have a Cisco Catalyst 3750X-24. Has a front picture, has a rear picture. Says it's 1U tall. Yep, that's right. Uh, weighs about 35 pounds. Um, we're not measuring things down to a high level of precision. We'll just put it that way. Uh, wattage is your best guess at what one would use um, under full load. It is a device type of a switch, has two power connections. I've labeled them as PS1 and PS2. It has 26 ports on it, um, which are basically your gig 1 through 24 and then SFP1 and SFP2. We have pictures installed, so you would think we're ready to go, right? Well, there is one little checkbox that we have to check if we want to actually share this to the repository. So once you click share to the repository, it will allow it to share that. Okay. So the next step is to actually run something from, typically it would be cron. Um, here I've got it running uh, from the command line and I've added in a few debugging statements so that you can see the steps that it's going through. Um, this is different from what is in the distribution. The distribution version, like I said, is, is designed to run from cron tab, so we don't actually have it spitting any information out because nobody's interactively running this. It's, it's not being watched. Now, the um, demo site does not have, pretty sure I do not have the manufacturer names synchronized yet. So let's take a look and see. Cisco, I do not have the global ID set. So I have to run the repository sync one time first to get it to actually synchronize and get what that global ID is. So let's run it one time here. Okay. So it added 60 new manufacturers this time. So let's just do a refresh here. And you'll see it synchronized. It found that there was a global ID of 11 for Cisco. You look over here and sure enough Cisco is number 11 okay but there's still not a template and that's because of the order in which operations are run um, the uh, the sharing portion doesn't happen until uh, after the uh, manufacturer ID synchronization or until the next uh, next round so we go back over to our templates let's make sure that we're still set to share we are so I'm going to run the same command again. And it submitted templates. It, I didn't add anything to tell it how many it submitted. But if we come over here, take a look at my pending admin requests. I should see that I now have Catalyst 3750X has been submitted. Which I can then go through and it tells me who submitted it. That's part of my API key and the username there. Uh, they have to match. Um, everything looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and approve this. So now when we go back to the main menu, you click on Cisco, it says that we have a model Catalyst 3750X 24 that other people can download, and we now have a total of 21 device templates. So uh, I hope that uh, has giving you information on how you actually do shares um, of templates into the repository and uh, hopefully I'll start getting some requests for people to um, get API keys and we'll start seeing some uh, pending admin requests for templates that I need to approve. Uh, if you have any more questions please join the discussion mailing list. Do not ask questions on the YouTube channel. Um, I don't really uh, typically respond to comments on the, the OpenDSIM uh, channel because um, it's not really the right place for it. Um, that's why we have the mailing list. So anyway, I uh, hope this has been helpful and have a great day. Thanks.